So I bought one of these Pandora boxes, uh, which come actually packaged with a whole bunch of arcade games. Um, and it has uh, the ability to um, simulate coins being dropped into, into the arcade machine itself. Um, I've also got one of the uh, M5 stacks. Da -da -da -dum. Uh, I got the grey one, which is a little bit more expensive because it's got a few more uh, components inside of it, but I, I um, uh, and a, a little bit more functionality, but you can actually use the black one because we're using the very basic functionality of the M5 stack. And then this is kind of like utilizing the M5 uh, stack 121 project on my GitHub, um, which is on GitHub uh, ArcBTC M5 stack 121. And there's plenty of details there on, um, on how to connect up an M5 stack to a relay so we can turn something on uh, for a period of time. So in this example here, I'm paying for uh, the privilege to turn on my Jacob's Ladder for like a few seconds. When you receive your M5 stack, you can take the back off it, which is kind of the battery part, and that'll expose the um, the internals of the M5 stack unit. Let me see if I can focus in there. There we are. Right, so we have, um, there's an ESP32 in here, then there's, you know, there's a bunch of connectors and, and other things, so it's a, their own prefabbed board. There's a whole bunch of GPIOs here, and they very kindly put in a nice pin map uh, for people like us who like to take things apart. Um, we're gonna be using the five volt GPIO, um, not GPIO, the five volt pin, and then we're going to be using the ground pin and we're going to be using pin 23, which is just underneath the third ground pin down. So the fourth pin down on the left. Um, and that's going to be our signal pin. So they're the three pins. So we're going to use the power and the ground pin to power the M5 stack. And then we're also going to use the um, signal pin, uh, so pin 23 as a, a pin for our signal um, to send to our relay so we can switch our relay on and off. A relay is just basically like an electronic switch. This is going to be a very quick tutorial because I've actually already put the thing together because I'm in a little bit of a rush, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. Um, so I've got my M5 stack here. Well, all I've simply done is add, so added, three, added three jump leads to those um, uh, pins, and then I drilled a hole through my Pandora box, which was very easy because this is a, a, an acrylic or Perspex maybe. And then I threaded it through and then just used hot glue then to secure it in place. Now we can see here we have a uh, coin button on our Pandora box here, which is the thing which we're going to be simulating by um, paying an invoice on here. So if we open this thing up, uh, let's somehow kind of keep this up so it doesn't fall on, fall on me. Does that work? Please stay. There we are. Cool. So you can see here the the mess and hot glue um, uh, and our three wires coming out of here. Now the um, M5 stack itself is actually powered off the Pandora box. So your Pandora box will come with a uh, 12 volt LED strip lighting to make it look nice when in the dark. Now that's 12 volt. So what I did is I, I, I got the connector which is connected to and I cut the wires and then tapped into that 12 volt source and then plugged in one of these very funky um, and very useful little 12 volt to five volt converters. So that plugs into the 12 volt to 5 volt converter, out comes 5 volt, and then I connected my uh, power, so my 5 volt from my ESP32 and my ground to the, um, to the, yeah, to the, the converter. Um, I also am powering my relay off the same converter. So we've got two devices, we've got the power coming in, and then it's splitting uh, a ground and power line going off to the M5 stack to power that, and a ground and power line going off to the uh, electronic relay switch to, to power that. Um, and the only other third wire then is coming directly from the M5 stack and then going directly to the relay. So I unplugged the coin button itself and then just took those two diodes and then just plugged them directly into my relay switch. So when a signal is sent down the blue, which then turns into a purple, it then turns into a purple wire. Um, that just switches this little switch on for like a second and simulates that that button being pressed. So pretty cool. Um, the whole thing's able to be powered off the actual Pandora box itself. I'm just going to download the project. I'm going to open it. And as we're using the LM Bits version, we want that to select that one. Drag that into our sketchbook for our Arduino projects. Did I drag that in? I think I dragged that in. Um, you'll have to Google where yours is located. Uh, but this way, all your sketches are saved in Arduino. I'm going to open up the folder, open the file, it'll open Arduino, 
dum dee dum dee dum Right, now we just need three credentials here. We need our Wi-Fi details, so your Wi-Fi details, and um, an invoice key for lmbits.com. If you're using your own instance of lmbits, you'd have to change this to your own URL. Uh, so we're gonna go quickly make a wallet on lmbits. This is lmbits.com, arcade, should we call it? Submit, now every wallet uh, which you generate on lmbits has its own API keys, which is rather neat. So I'm gonna copy that invoice key because we're gonna be generating invoices. I'm gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna add in my Wi-Fi credentials. Click upload. Now I've just changed the amount as well for um, how much it's gonna charge. I changed it to 402. It's worth remembering you'll need the M5 stack core 32, the SP32 board selected, and you'll also need the right port selected. Um, so it's uploading now, turn my camera on. So there's my M5 stack plugged in. And there we are, there we go, we have a logo. And then hopefully, de -dum, de -dum, de -dum, it fetches an invoice for us. Uh, I'll put my phone wallet, what should we use? Let's use Blue Wallet, shall we? Okay, so I'm gonna use Blue Wallet. They still haven't got one of them like boxes to tell you where to put the QR code, which I always find quite annoying. There we are, so click on pay. And then hopefully paid, and then that should click off. Yeah, we are and generates a new invoice. Right, so I'm going to turn, take this, unplug it from my laptop, and I'm going to switch that on. Now remember, the M5 stack is being powered from the Pandora box. Here's our Pandora box loading up. What's quite cool is in the settings of Pandora Box, you can, uh, I'm not gonna go into details on it, again, you can Google it, you can set it so you can't even operate the the, the menu, the navigation to, to pick a game without first putting a credit in, which is pretty sweet. So you could actually give you know your patrons the option to play all these different games, but of course they need to enter a credit. So we'll scan that. I swear this uh, phone's got the worst camera on it. Come on, there we go. Right, pay. <laughs> There's also only a few different places I can actually click on the screen to get it to work. Right, it's paid and then hopefully, come on. There we go, nice, I got a credit. So I'm gonna go down and I'm a, Street Fighter kind of guy, so we've got Street Fighter in here. This one, this uh, Pandora box came with like a load of kind of Street Fighter clones. Right, so let's play Street, oh, that's the wrong button. Um, oh man, let's try that again. In fact, let's try, why don't we try a, a clone? We'll try one of these ones. Let's try this, see what this is like. Um, once we've entered a game as well, um, I think you have to like press a combination of buttons to come out of the game. So I think you could set it so, you know, there's only one game available, I suppose. If you've got a specific arcade you want to build. And you can see that I've got my credit. Press start. Okay. Okay. I'll be that guy, please. Ooh. Oh, well, that's pretty sweet. I've got a sword. All right. Oh, no. Well, this game's cool. Like that. Playing one handed. Right, I'm going to let her beat me. In fact, I'm not going to let me beat me. I'm just going to put in a credit of credit. In. So you can see there I've got zero credits. I'll pay. Come on. There we are. And then. Come on, blue wallet. Not enough balance. Oh, I've spent all my money on computer games. Uh, wallet of Satoshi. You're gonna come to the rescue. All right. Now, wallet of Satoshi was being a bit slow earlier today, so there we are. Let's try this. 402. Zero credits. Ooh. I tell a lie, 
going like the clappers. So I should. Oh, there we go. Got another credit. All right. And we can see here we've had the payments coming through to our arcade. So thanks for watching. The Pandora box itself is like, as I said, it's like 100, 100 quid, 120 quid. And then the M5 stack thing is, uh, is, is another 20 quid. So like for 100, less than 150 quid, you can build your own little arcade. Uh, yeah, so it's a, it's, a, it's a funky little project. Um, hope you have fun with it and um, I shall see you in the next tutorial.